Hi all, this is a ring battery that stopped working. This is not the original one, this is a copy that I bought from AliExpress, but about a year and it stopped working. The instrument doesn't recognize, although if I connect the plug I can see that it is the, the light is lighting, but it is not charging and the instrument doesn't recognize it. So let's measure the voltage and see that we got nothing. You can see that any contact that I try, I don't know which one is the charging and which is the output. But anyway, you no know, voltage, whatever you try to measure. So let's find out how after only one year this is not working anymore. So I'm not sure if the batteries are dead or the BMS killed the batteries or it's a low quality of batteries or the zero doesn't work. I can try to apply voltage here and to test if there is voltage out. This is something I can do right now. So let's power up my power supply. I will apply some voltage and I see if something happens. Okay, 3.8 volt. There is some power consumption uh, of 3 milliamps. It's not a very good, I'd say. But let's see if I have voltage out in this case, then I can know if the PMS is doing something. Aha, you can see now that this is not the correct voltage. Aha, here I have not the lower voltage that I am entering. This is strange. I don't expect it to be like this.
does it work? Well, I think these are the contacts. I don't expect such a different. Let's input four volts. I get 200 millivolt less than I'm entering. This is not a very good because obviously there is a lot of power that goes on the circuit. Anyway, maybe this is how it works. Let's check the charge. The charge I will do, I will enter voltage here and I will test if I get voltage here. Okay, the red oh, I think this is a good sign. I need to see 4.2 volts here. Nope. Okay, so now let, let's see what happened here. I found something, I will show you. Okay, if I'm connecting power, so obviously between the P minus and the P plus, I have 4.17 volt, this is okay. It to be 4.2 to charge the batteries. But when I look at the circuit, I see that the P plus is getting to the P plus directly and the P minus is going through this probably MOSFET. So the problem with this MOSFET, something is wrong with it. And I will show you because if I'm checking between the minus and the plus, the voltage is too low, 3.6, and this is the voltage that I see out. So probably this MOSFET is broken, this is the problem. Or the driver of the MOSFET, I'm not sure if this is broken or the MOSFET itself. But this is the main problem uh, of this unit. So I will try to find out what component it is, whatsoever, if I can find something. And this is the cause of uh, this faulty circuit. So maybe I will try to replace this MOSFET and the driver of the, the MOSFET. Something here is wrong. Uh, maybe some of the small components that drive the driver and give a voltage to the gate. Okay, this is a good idea to check it. So let's check it. If I see this is probably the gate and the gate with respect to its ground how do I know it is the gate? I know because all, all the contacts here are not the gate and the, the one that is alone is usually the gate so aha I see a low voltage so maybe the MOSFET is ok and the VGS for this MOSFET it's not okay because of this circuit here. Ah, it's not simple to fix this. We'll try to further investigate. By the way, I can easily fix it by shorting this MOSFET, but then I will lose some of the protection of this circuit, although there is a serial resistor here but I'm not sure that it will be good enough for total short because it is 0 0.1 uh, I think it is 10 milliohms and 10 milliohms 
it's not enough the resistor by the way is okay it checked it so or the driver or the MOSFET one of these components is dead okay that's all